Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel which is the build 23590. In this video as always we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed and also what is fixed in the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by CDKs.top. CDKs Top is a platform where you can get Windows and Office licenses at a very good price. On this platform, you can get Windows 10 Pro licenses at the very good price of just $14 and the Windows 11 Pro license at just $19 when you use the coupon code from the description. To activate the license, all you need to do is to go into the settings app and then search for activation, then click on change product key and insert the license you receive from cdks.top. Check out the great deals from cdks.top in the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon code. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is also providing ISOs for the latest build from the dev channel. You can just go on their official website and select the dev channel, confirm, then you're going to have to select the product language, for example, English United States, and the ISO will be offered to you. In this build, Microsoft is also introducing natural voices previews in Narrator, and they're introducing previews for natural voices of 10 new locals launched in September 2023. That would be Chinese, Spanish from Spain and Mexico, Japanese, English from UK, French, Portuguese, English from India, German, and Korean. For more info about that, of course, you can check out the article below in the video description if you are a Narrator user. And along with that, we also get enhanced image consumption experience in Narrator. Yet again, more info about that in the article below. Something else related to the Narrator, Microsoft Word, Narrator will announce the presence of a draft comment, a resolved comment, a bookmark, or the availability of accessibility suggestions when reading text in the document. Probably a sad news for Windows users, Steps Recorder will not receive further updates and is planned for removal in a future Windows release. Starting in this build, Steps Recorder will display a new pattern of notification to guide users towards alternative options, and Microsoft is encouraging users to explore other options in Windows 11 such as Snipping Tool, Xbox Game Bar, or Microsoft Clip Chat. As you can see, have now this new banner. This tool is retiring. Click here for alternatives, and it's going to guide you to the Microsoft website where it's going to tell you a few other options that you have inside Windows. Related to Windows Share and File Explorer, the Windows Share window will now only show apps under share using that are tied to the account you are signed in into Windows with, either Microsoft account or Microsoft Intro ID. If you are signed in with a Microsoft account, you will see Microsoft Teams free instead of Microsoft Teams work or school and not both, for example. If you are signed in with a Microsoft Intro ID, your Microsoft Teams work or school contacts will appear in the window share window to quickly share too. If you turn on nearby sharing via quick settings or directly in settings and you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, it will turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on so nearby sharing will work as as expected. If you turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it will also turn off nearby sharing. Another thing that is new in this build, if we open up the settings app and then go into Bluetooth and devices, you'll notice this new mobile devices page instantly access your mobile devices from your PC, which is basically the old phone link page, but now this is turned into mobile devices. Now at the top, you have here a new option, allow this PC to access your mobile devices. You have here mobile devices, manage devices and more. If you turn it on, you'll notice that right now this is not working. We just have a placeholder text because Microsoft is currently testing this out in this build, so this is hidden. But I think that's pretty interesting that Microsoft is introducing more options and more advanced settings related to mobile devices and the connection from your phone to your PC. Related to the taskbar, if you have the Copilot icon moved to the right side of the desktop in the latest build, the Show Desktop button will be automatically disabled. If you want to learn how to enable this, you can check out one of my previous videos as I showed you there how to enable the new location or the new taskbar layout for Windows Copilot. And also, as noticed by Phantom Ocean 3 in this build, Microsoft also has some more references to February 2024, where we are expected to get a new Moment update for Windows 11, most likely Moment 5 update, which would be interesting, and more new features should be released on the main release on that Moment update. Now let's talk about a few fixes in this build. For example, related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue causing File Explorer to crash on launch for some insiders in the last few builds if you are using a non-default regional sorting option. They also fixed an issue which was causing opening the context menu on the desktop to crash explorer.exe in the last couple of flights for some insiders. And they also fixed an issue which was causing explorer.exe to crash sometimes when entering paths into the address bar. Microsoft also provides a lot of fixes for the narrator, but I'm not going to mention all of them. You can check those out in the article below in the video description if you're interested about that. Related to the magnifier, Microsoft also fixed an issue in magnifier settings page where the text below voice speed slider was not following the contrast guidelines. Also in settings, Microsoft fixed an issue where the experimental features section of narrator settings 
didn't have text. Related to Windows Share, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the share window to crash in the last couple of fights. And we also have a known issue in this build related to Windows Copilot. When first launching or refreshing Copilot in Windows while using voice access, you will need to use show grid commands to click in the Ask Me Anything box for the first time. So this is basically everything that there is to it in the latest dev channel build. I think this is an interesting one. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.